Frances Gifford was born and raised in Long Beach, California, with no ambition to be an actress. But at age 16, she and a friend went to the Samuel Goldwyn Studios and watched a film being shot. A studio executive saw her and asked if she would take a screen test. She did. The studio was impressed with the result and put her under contract. After only receiving minor roles, Gifford moved to RKO, where she was cast in several uncredited supporting roles in films of the late 1930s, including Stage Door with Katherine Hepburn and Ginger Rogers in 1937. In 1938, at the age of 18, Gifford married character actor James Dunn, and in 1939 landed her first leading role in the low-budget Mercy Plane, opposite her husband, and an uncredited role in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington with James Stewart. In 1941, she was cast as Nyoka in the Jungle Girl serial for Republic. Gifford had the lead role as Doris, the studio artist in Disney's The Reluctant Dragon. With Gifford's film career gaining momentum and Dunn's on the decline, partly due to his battle with alcoholism, the marriage had failed by 1942. In 1943, she made another Jungle movie, co-starring with Johnny Weissmuller in Tarzan Triumphs at RKO. In 1948, she was involved in an auto accident in which she received severe head injuries. She seemed to recover physically. Her career did not, and she made her last film in 1953. In 1958, it was reported that she was admitted to Camarilla State Mental Hospital as a result of her injuries. She spent almost the entire next 25 years in and out of various institutions. In 1983, Richard S. Fisher a film magazine journalist, tracked her down and found her as a volunteer at the Pasadena, California City Library. She lived out the rest of her life in quiet obscurity. At the age of 73, she died of emphysema in 1994. Stay tuned as we take a moment with our sponsors. <laughs> 